Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, and welcome back to Calm Down Level Up. Today we're here again, holy shit, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. We're here in the Road to 56 mod, like like usual, or, you know, we're not in Millennium Dawn today. We're in the, we're in, you know, Road to 56, <laughs> but we have something else on too. And it's something that has become a little bit popular, so I wanted to see for myself, and possibly show with you guys, what what it's like, what, what the mod is really like. So we have the bad AI mod on as well, and we're going to see... If this really does create good AI games or just funny ones to watch. And I thought it would work well with um, the Road to 56. Let's see if it really changes it up much or if it's, you know, mostly the same. I've watched a few videos, um, other people doing it, uh, playing this mod, and it seemed to change quite a bit. So let's see. Let's 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 reaffirm that ourselves. So as always, boys, make sure to click like and um, comment what else you guys would like to see on the channel. If you guys click like, it'll help the video be seen by more people, and I would deeply appreciate that. So thank you very much for clicking like. All right, here's something. The Netherlands joined the Allies already. Oh, shit, and France is a commune now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. So France actually has gone down the communist path, and the Netherlands has been seeking, I guess, closer relations with Britain. So they joined the uh, they joined the, the Allies. Maybe maybe the Netherlands joined the Allies because the, the French won't now, because, you know, they're they're communists, and they're going to end up joining the Comintern or something crazy. Which basically screws Germany, because then they're going to be fighting two fronts, because I assume, Germany, you're going to kill Poland first. I assume. Oh, and <laughs> UK declares war on Norway. All right. Um, I, I guess uh, we've seen this once before. Um, Swedish intervention. Oh god, puppet goal in Sweden. And they're totally gonna declare it as well. And then Danish intervention as well? So the UK has uh, decided that it wants to intervene in everything in Scandinavia. So it's going to be invading Scandinavian nations. What a what a great AI. Also, the Sabadab Pact has formed between Turkey and Iran. Iraq will probably join if it goes the way it usually does. And Afghanistan also has a chance of joining. So, yep, there it goes. Um, United Kingdom has declared war on Sweden. And the, the world tension is actually still at 0%. Uh, that's just the, the British calling in all of their uh, little puppets to join. And uh, the, the world tension is still at 0%, so Norway and Sweden can't even form a faction to work together to try to keep the uh, the British away. They can fight them separately, I guess. It's going to be quite hard for Britain to, you know, invade these countries. Wait, was this already here? I I honestly don't know. Did, did France already guarantee... The independence of Yugoslavia is that was that actually a thing or is that is that just the game the the bad AI doing things? Oh yeah, it looks like the full Sabada Pact has formed Iraq, Afghanistan, Iran, and of course the leader Turkey. Argentine Republic has declared war on Argentina, and the United States and Brazil declared war on the Federative Republic of Brazil. I think both things both of these things happened in the uh, Drew Journal video that I saw. Let's see if it comes out differently. I think in his video the original countries won both of them. Um, maybe we'll see that change this time. So Bulgaria is demanding Thrace, which is a pretty bold move. I think Bulgaria is army is smaller than Greece. Yeah, it is. Greece actually has a stronger army than Bulgaria, but Bulgaria is still going to demand Thrace from uh, from Greece. We'll see if they accept, I guess. If they get into a war, Bulgaria will probably lose. Oh, and it looks like the, the Greeks actually accepted. Wow, so good good job, Bulgaria. You're, you you expanded a little bit. Jeez. You know, no one really pays attention to you down there, man. <laughs> yeah, just good job, little buddy. Jeez. The United States declared war on Venezuela. Wow. Okay, that's not something you really see. Venezuela being fascist. Um, what's Venezuela got going for it? Will it be able to defend itself? It's got 10 divisions. Probably not. If if it puts all its guys on the on the coast, it might be able to hold the, the Americans off, but that's a that's a crazy move from the US. Jeez. And here they come already. Americans from Puerto Rico are about to land in Venezuela. And I'm sure the the American divisions are a ton better. But yeah, the Federative Republic of Brazil has has won their civil war against the uprising. And it looks like Argentina is going to win their civil war against its uprising as well. They were both democratic, so both democratic uprisings and the non-aligned countries held them off. Well, it's 1938 and uh, Germany still has not done Anschluss. They haven't even done Rhineland yet, so <laughs> I don't, I don't know what what Germany's doing. The free states with uh, Switzerland has formed before Germany even did Anschluss. And Between Seas has been formed. Just Poland right now. But they'll probably be able to get Lithuania and the Baltics in the faction fairly soon. Kingdom of Hungary has declared war on Kingdom of Austria. And the Siamese Empire joined Axis. Okay. Um, why? Wait, are you at war with anybody? Oh, they have war goals against these guys. Okay. Uh, Japan is currently invading them. Is Japan- Japan's not in the Axis. Austria was annexed by Hungary. That's- that's- fairly cool, I guess. <laughs> so, Anschluss has been, uh, 
that Germany waited too long. Hungary got him first. So Hungary can now go down restoration of Austria-Hungary, and it'll gain cores on a ton, ton of places, which is pretty cool. We'll see if Hungary is able to do anything on that. Um, if, they're, if they join the Axis, then they'll probably be able to do okay at it. The Actima Patagonian Free State declared war on Chile. Also, Venezuela um, got puppeted. <laughs> Rest in peace, Venezuela. Jeez. But yeah, Chile is in two now. Um, there has been a non-aligned revolution in Chile. Um, Chile is democratic. So it's the other way around over here in Chile where, where Brazil and Argentina had democratic revolutions where they're non-aligned countries. Chile was a democratic country and they're having a non-aligned revolution. So looks like, you know, non-aligned, non-alignment is pretty popular down here. So we might see the, uh, unholy alliance form in a little bit here. We might see them go down <laughs> alliance with the USSR because it's going to be a a little bit longer for them to go down Ryland and get to war with the USSR. So going through here, the AI might just think that's faster and might just do it. So we might see the unholy alliance form between Germany and the USSR, which would be pretty crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that happen in, in an AI game. I've seen it happen in player games before, of course. Oh, look at that. Iraq. Oh, look. Oh, okay. Italy has joined the Axis. Um, all of a sudden, I guess. Are they at war with somebody? Doesn't look like it. Um, Japan's still not in the Axis, but the Assyrian Empire has left the Sabata Pact. I'm not sure why. They just didn't want to stick around anymore. They, they have bigger plans, even though they only have 10 divisions. Um, they're doing rapid industrialization. They haven't even... Well, they've gone down a little bit. Gone down the uh, expansionist tree a tiny bit. Doesn't look like they're going to go down fascism, though. And here are the Brits. They're actually uh, landed in Norway. Last time I checked, they still weren't, he weren't here yet. So looks like a lot of these guys are going to get surrounded. So Britain might actually win in Norway, which is interesting. Reorganized nationalist China declared war on China. Oh, shit. So, oh, that's that's just the Japanese puppet state. I see. Wow, Germany is just really being terrible. I mean, <laughs> they're not doing any of the stuff that expands at all. Also, the Mongol United Anonymous government joined. Oh, shit. Japan just formed its own faction, I think. Um, let's let's go check what that looks like okay check it out J the japanese faction it's i think they just i think it's just it and its puppets so uh it's nothing too crazy but it's the japanese faction don't see that too often the allies are in sweden too they've landed in a couple cities um right here and they're almost in stockholm as well um, but it looks like uh actually yeah it looks like the brits are going to get into stockholm well they might hold them off actually if they hold them off these guys are just gonna die right here unless there is a port right here yeah this does look like there is and they got repulsed out of here too looks like sweden actually has built an army 38 divisions that's that's pretty good uh last i checked they were pretty low on the military there we go germany's finally doing rhineland because they ran out of other shit to do so unless they do alliance with the ussr right now they might end up going down anti-commentarian pact instead just almost get there and then turn around and do the other thing that that, that would be pretty bad ai oh look at that too nationalist spain joined the axis all right so now there should be germans coming down here um and helping the the nationalists finally win this war because it's been taking forever italy declared war on greece um is italy gonna lose albania like they usually do <laughs> to the greeks uh if bulgaria joins the axis right now that would probably oh they're doing slavic mentality um oh i see but they they have gone down the the communist path so bulgaria probably will join the common turn i think romania did it as well yeah they did look oh this will allow them to join the common turn but this is not this is not giving them this is not giving them communism this is just allows them to join the common turn. Here's where they can get fascism or democratic or communism in their government, I think. <laughs> Germany's befriending Japan, but it's a little late for that, I would think. Oh yeah, look at that too. National, or, I mean, Republican Spain finally getting destroyed. And Norway was puppeted. Rest in peace, Norway. Um, And now the Swedes are invading Norway to, to I guess, uh, repulse the British out because the, the Swedes have a ton of divisions. They're finally allowed to enter because it's British territory. And it looks like the Swedes are going to do pretty good unless they get attacked from the back by the British. Poland declared war on Lithuania. Poland wants to expand. I guess they uh, didn't do between seas or they did but they didn't want to join the faction and so they instead declared war on them oh estonia is in it so estonia is the only one that joined latvia and lithuania did not join argentina won their civil war as well oh look at that china was annexed into um reorganized nationalist china which is a japanese puppet so um japan just got quite a lot of manpower on their side the chinese united front still exists but it's like two tiny states well not tiny they're, they're fairly big but they're, they're, they're not powerful at all you're not in that one 
<laughs> oh, look at that. Italy, you're, you're a little bit competent this time. You're, you're doing okay. Well, there are Germans here helping you, but I mean, on this front, it's just Italians and they're, they're kind of winning. Over here, it's just Italians and they've done a, they did a full on landing just by themselves. That's crazy. Good job, Italy. So France, um, if they join the common turn and the, the common turn goes to war with the Axis, they are completely surrounded at all sides by three Axis powers. So that's going to be a little bit scary. <laughs> um, I'd, I'd, I'd be careful if I was France, although this is the bad AI mod, so they're probably just gonna just gonna join the the common turn and declare war anyways or they might even do something stupider even more i don't is stupider a word even more stupid and uh just instead make their own faction and then get killed and austria hungary has been proclaimed right on protect czechoslovakia is what they're doing right now um that means they're guaranteeing them uh and then they'll probably be able to annex them later yeah it gives them claims on a lot of shit down the road so we'll, we'll end up seeing austria hungary be being uh declaring war on a lot of countries in a bit or they'll, they'll claim transylvania from um from romania here in a little while also galatia from from poland i don't know if that's how you how you say it correctly is that just these two sweden's doing a pretty good job trying to clean the brits out of uh out of Scandinavia. Although the British probably have a lot, or probably are building a bigger army. Yeah, 104 divisions for the British. Sweden, though, 40 divisions, so they're still coming up with divisions. Sweden will probably be pushed to join the Axis or the Comintern, even though they are democratic, because they have to fight the British like this. And Germany's doing anti-Comintern pact. So, oh, look at that. India has declared, and it's it's a communist, the People's Republic of India, or the Indian People's Republic. India declared war on the Oh shit, wait. So was it already communist? It's yeah, I guess it's it's called India. It's still a puppet of the of the UK. And the Indian People's Republic has uh declared war on it. <laughs> Even though it's mostly democratic. Japan is finishing off the last nations out here in um in China. Wow, they white peace. These guys white peace. Even though even though the Japanese won, they allowed them to stay communist and they left Mao Zedong here. <laughs> Jeez, that seems like a bad idea, Japan. You might want to take them out. Although they are fighting to kill off these two, so. You're just going to leave a giant bubble of communism inside China. Oh, look at that. Austria-Hungary has claimed uh, Czechoslovakia. And it looks like they just... If there was a war, I missed it. But they probably just claimed it and they accepted. Okay, so Germany is doing war with the USSR. It looks like they're at war with Romania. I didn't notice why. Um, But uh, Romania might join the maybe uh, Polish faction in response. And that could send um, Germany into a war with uh, between seas. But war is about to, about to break out, boys. Because we got the German Reich justifying on the USSR, which could cause a chain effect. And I'm sorry to say, Sweden, it tried but I mean there's not much you can do here Britain's gonna get you I mean they, ha they have so many divisions and they're not even using that many of their own divisions they're mostly using their puppets divisions here um and they're losing a lot of their main coastal cities Stockholm's even lost so if Sweden loses a couple more they'll probably capitulate here and rip Sweden you just got puppeted the uh the allies have been expanded so there are a lot of large factions that have risen um even the uh the communist Indians have joined the common turn which actually might put the common turn at war with oh look Greece got that might put the common turn at war um with the allies does it does it make them at war with the allies no it doesn't well soviet union has not been called in but the uh indian people's republic is at war with the uk so if ussr is called in the ussr will be at war with the uk of course all right so finally it's august of 1940 and germany is finally doing danziger war which will be germany's first actual expansion germany only having 92 divisions uh the soviet union has 335 poland has uh 60 so germany will be able to get poland but i mean it's gonna need a its allies help here because the USSR is a ton stronger. Germany hasn't expanded at all and it, by 1940. So we might see a little bit of trouble for Germany coming up here. But the Axis does look okay right now. I mean, they've got Greece and Greece is annexed into Italy. Italy's full on Axis. Spain is full on Axis. Um, unless Germany goes to war with like every country surrounding them right now, I think they'll be fine. But I mean, going up against the USSR is going to be pretty difficult. <laughs> okay, so France really doesn't know what to do. It started out as democratic and uh, it went to communism and now it's supporting the right. So, I mean, this France is just really indecisive today. Oh, look at that. Uh, Poland actually gave in to Danzig. And so Germany got Danzig. Um, now they're demanding Sudetenland. Oh shit. From, um, I guess it'd be from Austria-Hungary. That's going to stir things up between Austria-Hungary and Germany. That kind of sucks because I hope to see uh, Austria-Hungary get a little bit bigger. But they are demanding Transylvania right now. Oh, they were able to skip over it because I guess Czechoslovakia doesn't exist, of course. So it did they just skipped over it. They didn't demand it from uh, from Austria-Hungary. That's good. Sweet. Okay. 
It also looked like um, Romania d denied Austria's demand of uh, Transylvania. So they didn't actually get it. Um, does that mean? No. So Austria still doesn't even actually have a conquer focus on Romania, even though they, they refused to give them Transylvania. Oh, look at that. Uh, Sink Yang has joined the uh, common turn. So I'm not sure if they, that means they joined because of any wars. No, it's not. So the common turn just got a little bit bigger. Although the Indian uh, Raj just died. So rest in peace, um, Indian uh, Indian People's Republic. Jeez, you tried. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at that. The Kingdom of Romania joined the Sabata Pact. Oh, and I guess they gave in to a little bit of the Transylvanian demands. Now the Sabata Pact is at war with the Axis if their Turkey and uh, Iran and all those guys are going to get invaded. Probably by Italian because I, I just noticed that Italy has a way larger army. 166 division to Germany's uh, 92. So Italy actually has the larger army here. Turkey only has 33 divisions and Romania has 37. So these guys together, I mean, Iran 27. Afghanistan's not going to have very many. 7 Oh, here we go, boys. The wars, the wars are real kicking off here. They just declared war, or the Germans just declared war on Luxembourg, which will probably make them join a faction. Uh, yeah, they just joined the Allies. Oh wait, they did not join the Allies yet. But the U.S., uh, the uh, the U.K. is at war with Germany now, so all the Allies are at war with Germany. There it go, boys. There it goes. The uh, the war has kicked off. Or what? The oh my God. Why is Austria purple now? Austria, not purple anymore. Austria was purple for a sec. I'm not, I'm not tripping out, right? That was purple, right? Okay, I saw purple. Now it's gone. Maybe that was just a map mode that I clicked on somehow. That was, that kind of freaked me out there for a sec. Siam is in the Axis. So they, they will be able to invade a little bit into um, British colonies down here. Um, but they'll probably get destroyed by the, uh, the Indian nation. It's got not actually very many divisions. It could have a lot more because of its population. Actually has zero, zero manpower right now. So it won't be very effective at fighting. Germany's now doing war with France. So we'll see. France will have to fall here. Um, we'll see what faction they join, though. That will probably change a lot. They are the French Commune right now, but they are actually moving towards fascism, and they have a lot of democratic. So they could, I mean, they could join the Allies or common turn, honestly. They'll probably join the Allies, though. Let's let's see. That's my that's my guess. Japan just declared war on the Soviet Union. Holy shit! Wow. Well, there you go. There's J there's Japan doing something something interesting. They do have quite a lot of division. Uh, 158, but that's still. I mean, that's that's not as many as USSR. But the USSR is gonna be um, a little bit occupied over here pretty soon, I think. Also, Germany is now losing to the Allies. Um, the Benilu region. They're being pushed back now, of course. So oddly enough, I think one of their best chances of winning is to actually declare war on France because that would allow Italy and Spain to move up and help them. Ireland joined allies. Okay. Interesting. Liberia also joined the Allies. Very good to know. <laughs> wow, a lot of people. The Republic of Guatemala joined the Allies. The Mexican opposition. Why is everyone joining the Allies right now? Is the UK doing doing an expansion of the Allies? Denmark. Everyone's joining it, boys. It's the new thing. Yeah, so Germany appears to be a little bit screwed over here in Europe right now. Um, Italy and uh, Spain can't really do much to help them. They're also at war with the Sabata Pact still, so Italy's paying more attention to that than the uh, bigger issue at hand up here. Portugal joined the Sabata Pact. Nationalist Spain declared war in Portugal. I, I guess that makes sense for them to join that faction then. It would also make sense for them to join the Allies, but, um, so, so Nationalist Spain is at war with Portugal, uh, and they're probably gonna win, and they allied themselves with Turkey. Wow, and look at this. Turkey's actually taken a bunch of these islands that Italy uses to invade from, from, from Italy, even though Italy's supposed to have the larger army here. The United Kingdom declared war in Yugoslavia. What a, what an interesting country to, to declare war on. I'm pretty sure that, that country's supposed to be your friend in this, in this game, but none, none an aggression pact between Axis, well, at least Nationalist Spain, and Yugoslavia was just enacted. Okay, that could give Yugoslavia an excuse to join the Axis, but doesn't look like they are. They could also join the Sabata Pact and unfold some craziness that way. Estonia declared war on Estonia. There's a civil war in Estonia, boys, and um, it's a fascist uprising. Wow. Okay, let's see who uh, let's see who's gonna win this. They each have well, I think they each have three three divisions. Yep, they each have three divisions. So we'll we'll see which ones are which ones are stronger. Well, boys, we got to 1941. It looks like Germany's about to capitulate, and I've been recording for about an hour and 15 minutes. So if you want to see a part two to this, make sure you let me know in the comments. If not, if you're not too interested, also let me know and make sure to leave a like, boys, so that it gets seen by more people. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you liked, make sure you leave a like, favorite, and subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.